Hi again. I'm Mike Scott, the film critic at the Times, picking you in New Orleans. And if you go see just one new movie this weekend, this is The One, my weekly video for NOLA.com, where I try to help you sort through all the new offerings at the box office. And we've got a particularly crowded slate of films landing in theaters this weekend, with a couple of freshly minted Oscar nominees among them. First, there are three genre films, the Kevin Hart comedy The Wedding Ringer, the Michael Mann-directed cyber thriller Black Hat, a timely film if ever there was one, and the family-friendly Paddington, based on the cuddly bear character from the book series. Now, you've always got to beware of genre films released in January, which is traditionally something of a dumping ground for studios. If early reviews are any indication, that holds true with these films, with the exception being Paddington. On the other hand, we also get Foxcatcher, which was nominated Thursday for Oscars for Best Actor for Steve Carell, Best Supporting Actor for Mark Ruffalo, and Best Director for Bennett Miller. But I'm going to direct you toward another Oscar nominee, one that's going to be competing for Best Picture, and it deserves it. It's American Sniper, directed by Clint Eastwood, and telling the real-life story of Chris Kyle, the Navy SEAL who's recognized as being the U.S. military's most lethal sniper. I'll tell you something, these Marines keep rushing in like they're doing, they're going to have their asses shot off. Oh, the Marines. They don't get the training we do. Half these guys were civilians six months ago. Well, let's coach him up. I'll show him how team guys do it. I'll leave the unit on the street. No, we can't do that. We need you on Overwatch. Oh, come on, if I'm on the street, Mark, Look, I can house to house is the deadliest job here, man. You got some sort of savior complex? I just want to get the bad guys, but if I can't see him, I can't shoot him. Look, all these guys, they know your name. They feel invincible with you up there. They're not. They are if they think they are. Why don't you just keep banging on the long gun? We'll let these dogs sniff out their collie. That's a bearded Bradley Cooper there playing Kyle, a role for which he also earned an Oscar nomination on Thursday, remarkably his third consecutive year being nominated, and unsurprisingly, he's perfect for this role. That's because while American Sniper is filled stem to stern with intense action, starting with the riveting opening scene, in fact, it's not just a bunch of flying bullets and heroes held high. Rather, Clint Eastwood, calling on his Western roots, turns this into a thoughtful examination of the warrior mentality, giving us a peek into why men like Kyle sign up for four tours of duty in Iraq, despite having a young family back at home, and what those experiences do to him. So what we get is a film that's entirely captivating. You won't be bored in American Sniper, I promise, but at the same time, you'll be moved by it all. In my review in this week's Lanyap and on NOLA.com, I give it four stars out of five, and so this week, American Sniper is also the one.